in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Mm. I saw a vision of so many angels while I was driving coming here and I knew that tonight when you see angels ascending and descending then God is about to speak that's what Jacob saw he saw a ladder that connected earth and heaven and at the top of it God was speaking so what were the angels doing when God was speaking they were going up and down making sure that what he says does not fall to the ground some of you this is the missing key to your ministry some of you this is the missing link to the anointing you see it in dreams some of you this teaching tonight will answer a lot of questions you will know that this is it i found it i truly pray for you that god will open your eyes lest satan should get a what say advantage so satan can have an advantage over a man what is the advantage that satan can have over men our being ignorant of his devices is an advantage to satan this is the bible we're starting tonight that the bible says whoever by any means is ignorant of the operation of darkness and how satan operates to afflict the saints you have given satan no matter who you are you have given him an advantage he said less satan should get an advantage over us for we are not ignorant of his devices his methodology his system of operation that means if we for any reason become careless about meticulously studying the operation of satan and the way he can afflict and even subjugate the saints the bible says the apostle speaking that it can become an advantage think how many families think how many churches brothers and sisters think how many well-meaning pastors think how many people who call upon the name of the lord day and night have given satan an advantage not by inviting him directly by allowing the deception that paying attention to the operation of satan is not spirituality and we have given him an advantage we have not been able to interpret the happenings in our lives and we have not understood these things and so we continue to try we continue to fight a fight that is in ignorance with defeat being imminent but then the bible says less satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant we are not ignorant that's the key to closing the door we are not ignorant we are not ignorant paul said i am not ignorant but i have also taught you so we that means there are some people who are ignorant we are not ignorant of his devices last week we began to teach on deliverance as a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of christ over satan over demons and over the powers of darkness concerning our lives i did teach us last week that there are three levels of satanic influences i'm just doing a quick recap for the sake of those who were not here that the first is called deception and that all men can be deceived including the saints 
it is possible deception we explored that and then the next level is manipulation and control and i told us that this is the realm of the mind where satan can take advantage of your understanding of your thinking and manipulate your understanding and the third we saw that it was um, complete influence and control that's what we call possession where an individual is completely under the influence of satan such as the case of the madman in gadara in mark chapter 5 and then we explained a number of things the teachings are available you can get them and i told us that the greatest strength of satan is the flesh the flesh the flesh so i'll talk a little bit about the flesh and then we'll share something um i struggle to do my best to see that we exhaust this teaching tonight but i i do not know there is so much to say as i was just preparing and studying i was wondering what part do i include and what part do i not include this subject is so broad you can have even part 1 to 30 and not repeat anything there is so much that the saints do not know so we'll see how god will help us tonight why are we teaching this number one it is a revelation of the mercy and the love of god to us to grant us access to this truth number two because the season has come for us to possess our possessions and according to obadiah 1 17 it says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions are we together so let's look at the flesh what exactly is the flesh seeing that it is one of the greatest weapons of satan i'll touch on it um very briefly and then i want to teach us something very powerful romans chapter 17 and verse chapter 7 and verse 18 romans 7 and verse 18 I'd like you to read with me one two read for i know that in me that is my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me but how to perform that which is good i find not who is speaking who is speaking this is not a baby christian speaking this is not someone who just got born again yesterday this is not one student of some rabbi this is one who has been granted access he's 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 opening the tragedy of the flesh and the the imminent doom that befalls anyone who chooses to walk in this realm that the bible calls the flesh what is the flesh he says for i know that in me he's not just talking about his body necessarily that is my flesh dwelleth what no good thing if you fail an exam and you get 37 you pass some you just didn't pass enough but if you get zero there's no possibility the bible says the flesh there is no good thing not some no good thing that means if you dwell in the realm of the flesh you have given satan the biggest advantage over your life it doesn't matter what else you do you have submitted yourself for defeat what is the flesh write this down the flesh is defined as a nature of living thinking and acting that is against the ways of God the flesh a nature of living thinking and acting that is against the ways of God so it affects your life it affects your mind it affects your body every part of you are we together 
the flesh every time the bible talks of the flesh or the old man has different expressions the the understanding is twofold this is not my major discussion tonight but i want to at least do justice there the the first dimension is what the bible calls the sin nature the man who is not regenerate the bible no matter how innocent you are in fact here's how the prophet puts it he said in iniquity did my mother conceive me so he didn't have to do anything directly the very nature of the fallen man one who has not encountered the life the zoe life of god the bible defines that that person born and living in the flesh so the sin nature are we together now the remedy for that is not counseling the remedy for that is the deliverance that we call salvation i hope you know salvation is deliverance yes salvation there is the special deliverance to remedy that nature you can't correct it it's not a nature that you correct it's not a nature that you renew it has to be taken away completely through the substitutionary work of jesus christ only a genuine encounter with the son of god the bible says and this is the record remember that god hath given us what eternal life so way and it says this life is in his son he says so that whosoever has the son has that life he said whoever does not have the son doesn't have that life so there is no assumption as to whether that nature is in you or not if you have not encountered the son no matter how you convince yourself zoe is not in you you may have money you may have education you may feel good about yourself but the nature the very nature just because you feel good about yourself doesn't mean you are free listen listen we're addressing something that is spiritual in context just because you feel you have never done anything wrong in your life doesn't mean you are free are we together now many times our minds and our consciences will deceive us into thinking because we look so far and think we are innocent and then we believe that the innocence brought the nature by itself no there is no assumption about that nature it is taken away only by the blood of the eternal covenant the blood of jesus christ himself and this life is in his son so that whosoever has the son has eternal life if you are not born again that life is not in you period if you are not born again that nature is still at work in you that is the chiefest authorization of satan greater than even any covenant that you have willfully brought yourself under the government of satan that's why i said i set before you the choice is yours life and death i set before you blessing and cursing i can only advise you i can't force you choose life that you may live one of the ways you choose life is to say lord i i i submit to your government I come willingly out of the government and the hold of Satan is deliverance the name of that deliverance is salvation as free and cheap as it is you must participate in it otherwise it will not work are you getting what I'm saying now so the sin nature but number two the second dimension of the flesh and and that is that is the one that i think af affects us because i know that a greater number of us here by the grace of god are born again we've given our life to christ and so based on the authority of the word we know that that nature is gone but the second the second dimension of what the bible calls the flesh is a stronghold write it down a stronghold a stronghold a stronghold in our minds that is fortified by the presence of demon spirits a stronghold this is flesh now the bible is talking about a stronghold in our minds that is fortified listen carefully fortified by the presence of demon spirits are we together motivated by self-centeredness 
vain glory and self-exaltation a stronghold in our minds fortified by the presence of demon spirits that is motivated by self-centeredness write it down self-centeredness vain glory vain glory and then number three self-exaltation that's what the bible calls the flesh so when the bible speaks of the flesh within the context of a believer he's talking of a stronghold that is present not in your spirit a stronghold that is present within your mind within the solical realm are we together now that is fortified the fact that it is not can you see that even in your mind demons are still there follow me you will be blessed tonight motivated by self-centeredness remember my teaching christ centeredness motivated by self-centeredness motivated by vain glory motivated by self-exaltation this the bible says that nature that nature there is no good thing in that nature that means whoever entertains that nature to control and govern your life the result is already predictable there is no good thing no matter how much deliverance gallons and gallons of anointing oil no matter how much prayer and fasting no matter what you do if this nature is allowed unattended to then paul already gives you your faith are you seeing the reason why many deliverance ministries for instance it looks like it's an endless struggle of attempting to do something you can pray dry you can pray all kinds you can do all kinds and and find out that in the midst of it it looks like forever you are casting spirits it looks like forever you are casting spirits it's like a journey of consistently casting spirits this is it and satan knows satan does not mind entertaining you during your deliverance sessions for as long as he finds out that this is unattended to you can do every other thing you want to do he will be glad to be represented and flatter you into thinking you are so anointed whereas the major issue has not been dealt with a stronghold a stronghold and satan has taken advantage of the church listen very carefully because we have been taught that a believer cannot be possessed that is true but possession is not the only way spirits participate in your life i'm going to be showing you now so we mean that just because a believer is not possessed every other thing that happens is just his thinking that is not working well uh, leave satan out and we have allowed satan to mess up our our understanding the construction of our beliefs and you find out that although you know the zoe life is in your spirit how come in the soul realm you are so helpless to him to the point that it even looks like your salvation is a lie are you ready to follow me on this journey tonight the flesh the bible gives us let me just tidy it up so that we'll leave this and and just go very quickly the bible tells us what to do with the flesh galatians chapter 5 we'll read 15 to 17 then we'll jump to colossians chapter 3 1 and 2 16 and 7 galatians chapter 5 16 and 17 16 let's start from 16 galatians 5 16 this i say then the same paul is speaking what is the remedy for the flesh walk ye it didn't say receive the spirit walk ye in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh he's telling you this remedy you are not just going to say flesh I'm, I'm tired of you no he's saying you must find a way whatever this is walk ye in the spirit and then you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh 17 he says for the flesh lusted against the spirit notice what is the flesh attacking talk to me what is the flesh attacking that the flesh will look for everything the spirit of god has created for you to do and that's what it fights 
the assignment of the flesh is to cause you to consistently violate the ways of the spirit and the spirit also that means when you are spirit controlled you will find yourself fighting the attributes of the flesh and the bible said these two these two are contrary the one to another so that ye cannot do the things that ye would let me explain to you what this means in any case you are not just allowed to do what you want there has to be one of them so you are under conflict today you are this tomorrow you are that and paul is saying let me explain to you that these vacillations is as a result of a war the war is an attempt by the flesh or the spirit to gain dominance over your life that you feel so prayerful today and tomorrow you just sit down and say okay to hell with this jesus self i'm not even sure paul is saying it's not your fault i'm explaining to you at the point you were saying to hell you are still not on your own are we together now another force another agency you are only executing what that agency has planted within you mm. the flesh people talk so much about the power of god they talk so much about freedom yet they never talk about the flesh and so satan doesn't mind our fasting satan doesn't mind our prayer because he knows that that stronghold is there and what a joy to satan when he finds out that you advise yourself that just because i am in christ automatically the only thing that is left is just for me to keep receiving scripture and as i receive scripture i will change automatically it looks very spiritual but i'll be showing you is a dimension of deception because many of us have been doing it obediently and it has not been working as always we have been trained to keep quiet and 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 not to be honest enough so we make it look like i'm, I'm okay everything is fine no you are not fine Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 and 2 and then we'll go to 1 and 2 then 16 and 17 look at this Paul is now buttressing on what he means by walking in the spirit remember he already told us that when you walk in the spirit you can conquer the flesh one of the ways you walk in the spirit is what read with me one to read if ye then be risen with Christ that means if it is true that you claim that you are risen with Christ he says seek those things which are where above seek those things which are above where Christ seated on the right hand of the father verse 2 set your mind set your affection now he uses something very interesting your affection your affinity your desire your longing set it like you set a thermometer set it to make sure that it is focused on the things above and not on the things that are of the earth are we together and then verse 16 says let the word of christ dwell in you richly now notice it says richly in all wisdom that's a very serious part we neglect it's not just enough for the word of god to dwell in you in terms of verses just he said no wisdom it should be constructed in a way that profits you the word of christ can dwell in you in a way that you are just accumulating scripture but it's not profiting you it says there must be a construction of the word of god in such a way and a manner that that word is done in wisdom then teaching and admonishing one another in psalms spiritual songs singing with grace in your heart from the lord last verse 17 and then we are done now watch this and whatsoever ye do in word or deed do it in the name of the lord jesus christ he's teaching us the various strategies that can help you to walk in the spirit one of it he says set your affections number two do all you do in the name as touching the government and the office that you represent walk in the consciousness of the fact that you are under an authority he's teaching here of the various ways that you can set your mind believers hear me let me tell you sincerely no matter how much prayer and how much fasting and how much casting of a demon that you cast out of someone if that person has made up his mind 
to be carnal and fleshly and not set your mind on spiritual things i hate to be a bearer of bad news but you only succeeded in wasting your time i give you a guarantee satan has infinite ways of returning back to that person the bible tells us when a spirit leaves a man it doesn't go and say okay i've even satan left jesus for a while he came back again to find out jesus have you been discouraged so far i left you when you were about to start ministry if satan left jesus for a while whatever makes you think that just because he left you five years ago he has gone and said okay serve god with all is <clears throat> waiting for you at the corner of discouragement is waiting for you where your money finishes he's waiting for you where you have a bad news or where you lose a loved one here he comes again because he knows that these things have a way of seeming to bring us down from that that echelon of spirituality it now brings us down and satan comes the bible says walk ye in the spirit i know you don't like what i'm teaching tonight but it's a powerful formula as simple as it is it's a powerful formula the flesh that stronghold the mistake that many people are now trying to make you see in correcting look at this come there is a difference between transformation happens in the realm of the mind but transformation is spiritual it's a miracle let's not reduce transformation to just the realm of scientology where we say put formula a add b to it no 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 principles are not just scientific formulas principles are spiritual laws that are backed up with the very power and presence of god get this please because when you study online and go around you find out that um sometimes if you are not careful you can just sit down and all you are doing is searching for laws at random just because something is a law and it works you just carry it and throw it in your mind and convince yourself that just because you put in an information that looks superior to what you already know automatically you just go no laws on their own don't drive spirits transformation is a powerful miracle it's another kind of deliverance the first dimension of transformation is not receiving the word the first dimension is the spirit entities that guard that stronghold must be taken away that deliverance must happen to you you can be a pastor prophet apostle bishop whatever you can be and flatter yourself that because of the 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 physical paraphernalia that is around your ministry you are free no you will need that deliverance you can pray in tongues non-stop every day for many years and that stronghold is just quietly watching you you reign you reign hello you reign deliverance now there are a number of things I want to teach you about deliverance let's talk about demons let's talk a little bit i have to if i don't talk about demons um i'm looking at my course content here can we talk a little about demons matthew chapter 13 verse 24 to 30 let's go to the parable of jesus i want us to study a bit on on demons look at this 
another parable look up please he put forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven that means the operation of the kingdom of heaven is likened to this a man which sowed good seed everybody say a man everybody say seed one more time say a man say seed he sowed good seed the fact that the bible specified good seed already is a message are we together remember my message during the prayer and fasting 25 but while men slept while men did what his enemy came also having a seed his enemy didn't come with a knife his enemy didn't come with a gun his enemy watched what he sowed and came with his own too watch this and the bible says he came and sowed tears among the wheat and did what and went his way he represented his presence with the seed are we together now he went away when he dropped that seed there he didn't need to stay there again because he knew that the seed was a replica of himself but when the blade was sprung up so that which was a seed now became something else and brought forth fruit then appeared tears also so the servants of the household that came and said unto him sir did did not thou sow good seed in thy field in other words ah, didn't you get born again where did this come from are you not a pastor's child are you not a, a a a prophet's daughter are you not is it not you that was baptized yesterday where did this come from from whence then had it tears 28 and he said an enemy has done this and then his servant told him will thou that we gather them up and then he says allow it that's that's what 29 and 30 says lest while we gather up the tears we root up the wheat in them and then verse 30 let them both grow together until harvest in the time of the harvest i will say to the reapers gather first the tears that means something will happen in the time of harvest that will show the difference but as it is now you can't see it and if in an attempt watch this if you understand this mystery you will know why you can be doing many things and god will not talk to you about it it doesn't mean that he doesn't see it is because if he wants to circumcise you at that level it will affect your growth process so bad so he will be patient with you to just grow you can be an arrogant man and god will never say anything about your arrogance so you will think that you are all right just because he's not talking about it a day will come as you keep working with him when he sees that you are now mature to undergo that level of spiritual circumcision he will take you back to the subject of arrogance and you will be surprised that you are in that level of height and now god is dealing with the issue of arrogance the seed the seed this this demon spirits that we're talking about we have to understand them you hear people say demons everywhere many of you here in koinonia and around you've seen demons come out of people you've seen their violence you've seen their aggression sometimes you hear people speak you know another spirit many of you watch tv around or go for meetings where you who are they where where do they come from genesis chapter 3 let's see how we can look at it oh jesus is God blessing us already? Genesis chapter 3. Give us verse 15. Genesis chapter 3. Let me just touch on it. And that God will grant us grace. Now, by way of introduction to this, I hope you know that Paul the Apostle, Paul the Apostle did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that when the bible says darkness is a combination of many things i hope you know that when the bible says darkness and it says spirits dark spirits is not just one a consummation of just a group of demons it is the summation of every spirit entity and every kind of spiritual organogram that is antagonistic to the ways of god because I'll, as i'll be showing you there are many there are many 
this is the lord now speaking with the woman after their fall i'm just saving time that's why i said we should go to verse 15. if you're with me say amen and i will put enmity who is speaking here god between thee and the woman between satan and the woman god is speaking to them both now i will put enmity between you satan and the woman he would have stopped there and then we'll understand but then he says i will also put enmity between what thy seed and her seed so that the person he's talking to has seed are you getting what i'm saying now he's talking to satan as one who has seed the capacity to multiply himself and his agenda hi and he looks at the woman you don't talk to a woman about seed because you know from biology that women don't have seed they receive seed so the thing confused satan god why are you now talking about her seed where is it going to come from that's why the moment cain came satan believed that cain was that seed and tried to attack him from that day till moses till everybody till john the baptist once satan sees a male that a woman is giving birth to he starts pursuing them because he suspects that that may be the seed are you getting the point now between your seed and her seed now questions we have seen the seed of the woman we are part of that seed correct where is the seed of satan because the bible lets us know very clearly god himself speaking that as the woman is multiplying her own seed this spirit entity is multiplying his own seed too are we together genesis chapter 6 genesis chapter 6 and it came to pass i'm fast forwarding now it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the surface of the earth listen carefully it says and daughters were born unto them what happened verse 2 that the sons of god the hebrew word there is benign elohim it's not just sons of god like it was an error in translation it's not like sons of god like believers no are we together like like progenitors those who were part of his creation these were a class of angels that this class of angels came and saw the daughters of men do you know who these angels were these angels were not just the exalted angels because i hope you know that by the time the angels that fought with lucifer fell from heaven the ones that came down with him adam was not there adam's story and genesis one was not there they had fallen in a particular dispensation are you getting what i'm saying now mm. so by the time god is creating adam or recreating the earth and making adam there are already inhabitants in the earth satan alongside the myriads of fallen angels are you getting what i'm saying now mm. and because spirits don't die in the context of cessation of life i will tell you what the death of a spirit is I, I i told you i was going to tell you but spirits don't die in the context of ceasing from breathing and ceasing from movement the moment adam came to start another race these spirits were looking for a way to find expression are we together now it's a very serious thing and the bible says that while they were voyaging around the earth all of a sudden they saw the daughters of men that they were fair to look upon it's a scriptural way of saying they were very beautiful are we together that means those angels had feelings hello it's not all the classes of angels that you know theologically there are all kinds of arguments whether angels have the, uh, the ability to reproduce or not and we, we see it here that the angels saw the daughter of men the daughters of men and they took them wives that means they could marry they came down and saw beautiful ladies like you looking at me now and the angels chose they advised themselves he said look let's marry these women verse 3 and the lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for seeing that his flesh is they shall be 120 verse 4 
there were what now watch this the bible just tells us that a come darling an angel are we together now a fallen angel benign elohim all of a sudden sees human people pure humans and the bible says took them to wives and all of a sudden we now see the manifestation of a species that the bible calls them what i'm trying to trace the origin of demons for you that giants until this time there were no demons on earth there were fallen angels there were other dark spirits that had been in other civilizations but not demons these giants were in the earth the bible says that when the sons of god came into the daughters of men you know what that means and they bear what children that means that the seed those fallen angels had seed within them and that their seeds got these women pregnant and they gave birth to these giants who were mighty men of old men of renown are you following my story now so we traced that these women were minding their business all of a sudden these beings come that there is a possibility ah goodness so spirits can get physical women pregnant so we see that there's no argument there are we together this information is useful we need it because that's how jesus came into the world are we together now listen carefully jesus came into the world how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man joseph has not finished paying my dowry don't embarrass me and he said no a spirit is coming from heaven i will show you this is the mystery ah goodness i'm already excited let me just take it easy so these spirits came and all of a sudden when the women gave birth to children the children started growing unusually they had features that were superhuman it was clear that these spirits were not pure humans the seed of lucifer in those children started causing them the bible says god saw that the wickedness of man this spirit started introducing attributes upon the earth men were not that wicked all of a sudden there was a fabrication of different levels of wickedness and then the people in the earth ah, who are these beings that can be so wicked that means a normal man has a maximum level to which his heart can conceive evil if evil goes beyond that level something else is responsible for that level of heartlessness follow me because as i taught you this seed is still on earth today are we together the bible says that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually this was not the case now man had become so depraved the bible says and it repented the lord that he had made the man in the earth and it grieved his heart now watch this thank you darling did you know the lord said i will destroy man whom i have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air for it repented me that i have made them just stop there god is regretting these spirits have found their way back into this adamic civilization they were there casted now with the ability to reproduce they found a way of creating continuity for themselves because remember the law of territory if you don't have a body these angels these spirits because they are not demons it is demons that don't have bodies angels have bodies that's why they could come to even meet angels can translate themselves into physical bodies is that true remember the angels that came to abraham they didn't come as ghosts flying they were human beings this was what caused the flood of noah are you getting what i'm saying now the flood of noah was a system of judgment that god needed to annihilate that entire race the question is the giants let me use you again the giant children that were born by these angels and this when the flood happened because spirits don't die in terms of cessation of living the bodies now died 
and the spirits are you getting the point now the spirits of all those rays the name of those giants as you know theologically speaking is called the nephilims are we together now this disembodied spirit because every time a spirit is not in a body what happens it becomes restless these spirits they can't go to heaven they can't go to hell and they float within the circumference of earth and the second heavens and that is the reason why these spirits today are those we call demons listen carefully the demon spirits that you call are the spirits of these nephilims the sons before demons came there was already darkness listen carefully before demons came they were already fallen angels the fallen angels and the daughters of men produce what we call demons disembodied spirits now watch this look up i want to prove a few things for you i, I hope that you are getting what are you get are we are we still together let me just know that we're together do you know that fallen angels cannot possess men there is no record in scripture from genesis to revelation where a spirit was inside a man are we together now and then they ask who are you and he says um i'm angel so 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 and so no no it may look like it is the spirit but those, I will tell you what their office is. Because those fallen angels are still walking today. But they are not the ones inside men. Are we together? Those disembodied spirits are the ones who move. And I hope you know that the disembodied spirits that fell are by far more than the number of human beings on earth. That's why 10,000 of them will not mind finding accommodation in one man. There is a desperate need for accommodation among those demon spirits till today look at look at how they cry when you want to cast them out that means they don't <laughs> listen are you seeing the extreme violence now please don't feel bad many of you have been delivered many of you will be delivered this night but listen notice that you will see a kind quiet person brother or sister and all of a sudden when those spirits are provoked by the power of god it will take five people to suddenly hold one person you see the way people are rolling on the floor there is no power you try rolling like that by yourself and see what happens another entity this disembodied spirit to the point that when jesus was about to cast them they begged him they said jesus you know our condition you are not in ignorance as to what is happening to us where do you because they know it's hard to find a body that can allow you to be comfortable that's why when they find it they go straight to the realm of your mind and create a system that makes sure even if they evict them they can still come back please understand what i'm teaching you and you will be free you will experience victory and you will possess your possession demon spirits they are everywhere today as i'm talking now there are demon spirits around hoping and waiting where will i get accommodation now are we together now where will i get accommodation now this is what it means for spirits to die when they say demon spirit should die is the restlessness that is created by exiting it from a mortal body it is an intense state of torture no spirit no spirit is like putting you inside water and dropping you there that's exactly what you do when that's why they cry and they beg they make sure they don't leave they negotiate all kinds of things jesus have you come to cast us say we have a time now jesus said go say let's look at they drowned the swine they were so desperate for bodies they entered pigs for a few minutes just so that they can find a place to rest the pigs were entering water they said yes let's just be rested before you enter the water you see why satan hates deliverance you may not know what it is that is the reason why when you cast out devils you are in trouble because satan will mobilize any kind of attack on your life attack on anything he knows what is happening is God helping us are we understanding something so this spirit but there are other kinds of spirits 
I hope you know that the fallen angels that fell with Lucifer are not the only angels that have fallen. <laughs> there are many group of offenses. There are others who fell so bad they are in chains now. They are not even allowed to be featured. In. That's the level of wickedness. Those guys are more wicked than Satan himself. What they did to God, we'll find out when we get to heaven. That God, they, they were cast down, not to the earth. Satan was cast down and left in the earth. But these spirits were taken straight to the bottomless pit and were bound there with chains. Because for the sake of the elect, they were not left on earth. What would they have done? That means even Satan would have been afraid of them. I'm demystifying this thing to you. Whether it comes as occultism, whether it comes as Ogoni, there is a central system of operation. It's when it comes to execution that all those variations come. The foundation of all of this is this spirit finding a resting place. And when this... These angels watch their children called demons move around with no bodies in intense torture and so they say let's work together we will coordinate you while you enter the people will tell you what to do and so Paul said wow so there are principalities there are powers there are rulers then there are others who don't operate in the earth realm there are spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places they all coordinate themselves one one demon spoke on behalf of 10,000 of them it was when Jesus asked him who are you he now said we are many oh. forget that you are hearing only my voice there is a, an intelligent organogram brothers and sisters if one human body can host 10,000 demons then it's important for you to listen one demon one body can be so powerful if one body can host God, why can't it host demons? That a man's body can be the temple of the living God. Let me just compose myself and get somewhere. Because if you don't understand this, what are you delivering? You see where we miss it? We just come and tell somebody there's a spirit. Oh yeah, we bend his head and just turn him around. Oh yeah, you must come out. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'll hug you after I'm done with my example. And you turn his head around, and the guy just says, Man, let me just quietly fall for this guy to leave me in peace. And he just falls down and you, you tell him to say thank you, Jesus. He repeats after you. You get up and you are happy. And the demon spirit says, Wow, what ignorance. Advantage. Advantage. Demon spirits can dwell in your spirit demon spirits can dwell in your mind demon spirits can dwell in your body when you tell somebody you cast a demon it just comes out you don't know where it came out from it will re you the same way it comes out from your spirit your soul and your body physically it will look the same it takes discernment to know what happened and the authority of scripture that guides you if that person you are delivering is a believer then you know certainly it must not be from his spirit because he that is joined to Christ is one spirit are we together but that does not mean this is where many of us have been surprised because for many years you believe that no these demons cannot find expression you came for koinonia to your surprise praise and worship was going on and all of a sudden you are feeling as if somebody is drawing your clothes you are saying what is happening the next thing you are sweeping the ground you are waking up after 10 minutes what is wrong and you are a pastor and you are, you are, you are a, 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 a prayer leader and your members were watching and say oh God prayer leader what I hope that this impact we received impartation a night before this deliverance so what really entered us no you don't stigmatize people a spiritual childishness to think just because a demon was casted out that no 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 you don't do that the fact that you are being delivered is a sign that you are in mount zion it's not something that should make you ashamed the, the 
that means you have gotten to a place where the light and the power of God is forcing those spirits to be uncomfortable it's a thing of joy you have to understand these demon spirits because they are everywhere there are many ways they can enter that's why they are desperate you can know that these spirits are let me tell you this those spirits have on you their characteristics you know that they are in or around your life because whatever they produce in your life is abnormal are we together a demon spirit can find expression and you can start having abnormal passion for food you can eat the food of 10 people it's called gluttony it's not a medical condition the spirit is eating through you even you you know that by myself i cannot eat this kind of food listen listen this spirit now enters you and begins to manifest an unusual passion then you marry one wife the spirit is not satisfied with one woman you now say oh let me just be careful this is my one and only wife the spirit says no way and all of a sudden you add 12 more and the spirit he says more you add 12 more and the spirit says you are delaying me let's let's switch to to the point that the spirit can be patient if he doesn't find women it will make a man like a man it's not normal these are the spirits behind it listen very carefully that's what happened in the days of Noah these spirits you see are not weak they are not foolish they are not stupid the moment they find a body they start manifesting their characteristic the same way when the Holy Spirit finds a body all of a sudden an anointing you shouldn't have I shouldn't know your name where did it come it's obvious that it's not me something has taken charge of my faculties and is revealing to me something that I should not know ordinary me if I stand close to you maybe if we fight you will even beat me but all of a sudden I will lift my hand and this guy is on the floor now is that me no the same way I'm supposed to give you peace ordinarily but because of the demon spirit in me when I come near you your life must scatter it's not me hear me married people this is a mistake people are coming with forces and influences they don't even know and you find uh, this is the mistake that prophets make again listen carefully especially if you're in the prophetic here because they now look and say oh your wife is a witch she's not a witch for some reason she's she's hosting a habitation of certain spirit beings that are creating an effect even her she will tell you i don't know why everybody i come near if it's their business it dies if it's everything it dies are you seeing why some of you the moment somebody comes to say i love you i want to go and see your parents the spirit in him will say am i not already there so what do you want to do now tragedies listen very carefully those spirits feed on things and they put in you desires that will continue to feed them while they remain that's why you can sit down and they will wake you in the night to carry your laptop and type something you should not watch and you are watching you hate what you are watching but the spirit is feeding on it it is the atmosphere that will keep it there your majesty your majesty They carry the face of a man they carry the face of a woman they carry the face of an object a loved one it doesn't matter they are doing something to you all of a sudden you want to give someone a job and you say by tomorrow please come and collect the job you go to bed notice 
all of a sudden they have come the dream will carry different you may see yourself in primary school second it doesn't matter what form it comes they are still the ones listen to me all of a sudden they may come and molest you they may come and do whatever they want to do and you stand up in the morning to you you don't know what happened you dress very smart sir i've come to collect my employment letter and the man will say if i see you here you had the testimony of our mommy here how can you tell somebody else? this is what has made many of your helpers to leave you they will promise you send me your account and all of a sudden you go to bed and those spirits are here we don't know the bible said lest satan should take an advantage of you for we are not ignorant ignorant this is the number one cause number one cause number one cause of barrenness number one cause of impotency the jealousy of those spirits the very jealousy of those spirits with all honor to our doctors i love doctors but i'm telling you this is it can i surprise you i want to tell you something that many of you may not believe i hope and pray that you may believe it i that's why you see i struggle with tonight's teaching it is possible for a woman to carry a seed that is for both her husband and these spirits i wish i'm not the one teaching this sometimes this 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 work is very hard sometimes it's true go back to our villages and hear what our great grandparents with divination used to say sometimes they will see a child and stand and say no let me look at this child and look at this child and look at this child and say no something is wrong and this child is born with unusual trouble and unusual abilities usually doesn't last for too long and just dies and goes but within that 12 to 15 years the trouble that that child causes for the family what can this one is not a deliverance issue this is another seed that is not human can i tell you this don't feel bad we are praying don't feel bad this is how fibroid is formed what you call fibroid is the aberration of the intercourse between these spirits are we together now an attempt for these spirits that's why it grows in the same place where a baby should grow as a baby is growing is growing too and notice that 90 percent of the time it will kill the baby yet you say it's not alive from the womb already ask jacob and esau that from the womb the children were already there they were already fighting ask jesus and john you call them they are just fetuses whereas there was communication going on when mary met with um elizabeth the babies too met with themselves how are you how are you we're on our way coming oh i will come before you make sure you do it nice they were interacting please sit down when you know these things you will appreciate the power of god and the victory of christ i know this may look like a messy teaching tonight but just allow me tidy this up and then you will walk back and now find out that nothing just happens nothing watch this these demon spirits till today until jesus comes they are searching for bodies to find expression they are in our fathers that's why our fathers behave unusually they are in our mothers that's why they behave unusually wife that's the mystery behind the stubbornness and your wise decisions of your husband he may be well-meaning notice that most of those people a time can come they are calm and understanding and peaceful and cooperative and then suddenly something comes when you are bringing someone out of a prison cell there's a sign here that you will never steal anybody's thing he will sign and say i won't do anything say oh yeah be born again I'm, 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 i will be a serious person i will even be serious for the first two days he will go to the farm doing well until that spirit now knows there is a stronghold are we together i will teach you this on deliverance there is already a doorway that allows it 
so the spirit goes on vacation as that brother is in the farm he will make another person annoy him because all these attributes of the flesh are doors with a simple anger it returns it has entered the guy doesn't know all of a sudden the guy gets up and says you hit me and beats him and kills him he's back to the prison he's wondering what am i doing on my way back to the prison the spirit has come back to his house because when a spirit leaves a man it doesn't wave at you it allows for some time the frustration of a lack of habitation will make it come back and say that womb i left let me go back and find out what is there oh there is a child there now that home i went there is joy now i need a space for myself and the moment they find expression they will have to start executing their own attributes have you not been surprised look at those who steal if they are under the influence of that demon hide anything anywhere the person will stand is like word of knowledge he will just look around and say lift that carpet you will carry the money there he doesn't know it's true i'm telling you this you know i'm not lying you hide the money anywhere one day you hide it inside the ceiling he will just stand and stand and look up the spirit is saying look up that's where it is I know I know a true story a true story of a couple I counseled some years ago they were about to get married all of a sudden from nowhere very wonderful lady who loves the Lord the lady brought a report crying that they said she was positive with HIV ah, she even me I was surprised because a lady that I know very well behaved lady I said what happened where did that one come from and all of a sudden when I was looking in the realm of the spirit god just opened my eyes and I, as soon as i touched that spirit something strange happened now I'm, I'm not saying you should go out and create trouble but something strange happened the spirit started manifesting and speaking around and he said at the point of the test it entered the doctor doctors you are my friends i'm just being thank god you are born again we just finished an outreach there are many things that if we do not know there are many people carrying reports that are not true there are many people carrying things that are not true it is this same spirit that appear what is hiv hiv is called aids abi acquired is acquired meaning it's not within you it came from somewhere acquired immunodeficiency syndrome I'm, I, I hope i'm right where do you think it came from where do you think cancer came from when you understand this you will know why all of a sudden jacob did something do you know i will be showing you jacob slept and had a dream and jacob saw where the males that pregnanted the female goats came from he was in a dream he looked above and saw that all the males in the realm of the spirit were spotted Hi. <laughs> it was not laban's males no they came from somewhere that's why it didn't matter what laban said the results were manipulated from the realm of the spirit when you are assisted from the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter what the disadvantages are there is a system to change everything this is not my discussion this night but i don't don't tempt me to have to go and show you please that these spirit interactions must be there for satan and demons to find expression no man just enters trouble like that and no man just comes out like that there must be that spirit interaction let me show you something you're tempting me for us to genesis 30 let's look at it genesis 30 25 we we'll look at 25 to 43 jesus thank you pray in the spirit please while we are opening this hallelujah look at this look at this let me talk about jacob and laban now i'm establishing a point here and it came to pass when rachel was born joseph that jacob said to laban send me away that i may go to my place and my country we're reading it's a long reading let's see how fast we can go just keep just keep projecting and let's go he said give me my wives and all of that and all of that go to 28 
Jacob is discussing with Laban now. And he said, appoint me thy wages and I will give thee 29. We are reading down to 40 there about. And he said, thou knowest that I have served thee and how thy cattle was with me. 30. For it was little which thou hadst before I came. And it is now increased to a multitude. And the Lord had blessed thee. Who blessed thee? Talk to me. Who blessed thee? The Lord has. We will see how that Lord did the blessing. The Lord had blessed thee since my coming. And now, well shall I provide for my own house? 31. And he said, what shall I give thee, Jacob? He said, don't give me anything. If thou will do with this one thing, I will again keep thy flock. What is the one thing? 32. I will pass through the flock today removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle and all the brown cattle among the sheep and the spotted and speckled among the goats and of such they shall be my hire so he's saying i will go round your ranch all the cows and the sheep that are spotted i will pick them at this point they were not many i hope you know that and then he says so shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come when it shall come for my hire you know this and that and that everyone that is not speckled or spotted he was saying that if you find it with me then take me as a thief are you getting the idea now the bible says so laban said behold i would that it might you know might be done according to your word 35 and he removed that day all the goats that were ring straight and spotted and so on and so forth and so forth go to verse 40 go to verse 40 jacob went on a journey there's uh, there's no time to prove it but you will see that jacob simply went on a journey for three days jacob returned back after three days and suddenly saw spotted calves he said no something is going on here the goats and cows and sheep were not pregnant the normal time that goats there because the males that got them pregnant were not part of the fold they came from somewhere the same way the bible never says jesus was pregnant for nine months no it's not on record that jesus was pregnant for nine months jacob did separate the lamb and set the faces of the flocks towards the ring stake and all you know all of this and he put his own flocks and put them you know this and that 41 and it came to pass whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive that jacob laid the rods before his eyes the eyes of the cattle in the gutters that they might conceive among the rods when we read to 43 we stop there but when the cattle were feeble he puts them not in so the feebler were labans and the stronger jacobs last verse 43 then we'll go to verse 41 and the man increased exceedingly and had much cattle and made servants and men servants and camels and asses now go to chapter 31 let me search it here 31 from verse 10 to 13 Genesis 31 read with me one to read and it came to pass at the time that the cattle had come I just jumped from verse 1 to 9 verse 1 to 9 was the frustration of, of Laban's sons they started saying so now Jacob has taken everything what inheritance do we have and the Bible is showing us how God assisted Jacob to produce that result are you ready and it came to pass that at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up my eyes and saw where in a dream so Jacob was dreaming and the dream now revealed what was happening that was not there physically what did he see in a dream I behold the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring staked speckled and I beheld I saw in my dream that there were some cattles that were making these ones to be pregnant that were not part of the are, are you with me now he's not awake oh he's seen in a dream 11 hmm. and the angel of the lord so the angel was there we know that there are angels and other cattle came from another realm he spoke to me in a dream and he said jacob and i said here i am verse 12 and he said lift now thy eyes and see all the rams an angel is showing him another ram somewhere that is not part of Laban's flock all they needed was Laban's females the males came from another ram the same way all the fallen angels needed was the females of men 
the males were the angels with their seed all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring staked speckled and grizzled for i have seen i had to introduce some other animals to come and give you speed of result because i have seen the wickedness of laban so i came to assist you with extraordinary result that is not of this realm 13 i am the god of bethel this is why i'm doing it where you anointed with a pillar and where you vowed a vow unto me he said arise get thee out of this land and out of thy kindred jacob woke up and all of a sudden the males were not seen physically but when the females gave birth they were all speckled and laban said how did this thing happen but god said jacob let me show you so when you see a woman frying akara and building a house with that akara there is an assistance it, it cannot just be about ten thousand no the realm of the spirit came to assist men this is a testimony of this ministry this is a testimony of my life we are not alone he sent his angel there is the angel of his presence and if you don't believe what i just taught you the devil will destroy you and you will never now when you see unusual results you don't question it because i have shown you that heaven can assist men he said remember the bethel i am the god of bethel so was that angel an angel no i am the god i came to supervise your speed i have seen how laban mocked you and is it not me that said i will restore so let me do it now i will bring my own male cattle from everywhere are you seeing why the bible said the cattle on a thousand key where is it it's not a location on earth the cattle god has it the next time somebody gets a miracle alert and you are asking where did the money come from does that sound wise no lest satan should take advantage of us for we are not ignorant i have taught you now that the realm of the spirit can assist men the same way when you see so that you stop this counseling that doesn't make sense you see an unusual thief an unusual troublemaker a man who marries 11 wives and is not tired that man does not need counsel what's the name of that group that used to discipline men that social group social welfare even if you like report him to efcc there is a spirit a normal man should be satisfied with his wife alone the moment a spirit comes no unusual characteristics unusual attributes unusual wickedness when a man carries a knife and takes one of our little ones here and is slaughtering a baby like this my brother my sister that's not a normal human being a spirit is using his hands to hold a knife remember that when these spirits show up they are so wicked jesus said one of the signs he says before the coming of god it shall be like the days of noah that means there will be a repeat of this again these spirits in an unusual way will multiply wickedness but the hope is that the power of god too and the assistance from heaven will also be multiplied upon the saints that means that the revivals that are coming you will see dimensions of the spirit at work in a man that you have never seen in church history spirit so accidents don't just happen no you are just driving and then the car just veers off my brother the car did not just veer off a spirit attempting in frustration to either kill you don't feel bad don't feel bad whether that happened to your loved ones so that's why god is teaching us a pastor can have a ministry and when the ministry wants to rise because he's ignorant of this that spirit can enter him and all of a sudden you will find out that is five months of intense hatred from members they will hate you for no cause and the ministry dies less satan should take an advantage of me demons can enter people
demons can enter homes they can enter churches when they enter they execute the will of satan you can be born again they will not touch your spirit but i guarantee you they will come to your mind and build a fortification around your mind and still feel safe as though they were in your spirit so that your being born again makes no difference as far as you are concerned this is the mystery behind these things so you see them in your sleep when you wake when you sleep and you wake up and read like i shared with you ah we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness and you don't know who to tell you are sad good things want to happen these wicked spirits come in let me tell you progress and breakthrough is not very difficult it's the spirits that make it so hard you are near your breakthrough like this do you know these spirits can relocate your destiny helper just so that you will suffer while men slept the enemy came with his seed and planted it don't feel embarrassed that when you look at your life you see the outworkings of these seeds because i don't know if we have that time now if we don't have it we'll do part four at after the miracle service no problem i don't just want to rush this you have to appreciate this for me to teach you the dimensions of deliverance because casting out a spirit is only one of the dimensions of deliverance if you stop there you didn't do well because the spirit will return are we together if i push this door open and i leave that door open am i still safe please talk to me that spirit for sure will come back their determination to return to you was not left as a secret in the bible the bible is very clear about the fact that if a demon leaves you it will try to come back that's why you find out that people can be free for 10 years from poverty and then 17 years the spirit now comes he said it's been a while let me come back a man can be married loves his wife after she gives him three or four children and then all of a sudden what he was doing when he was 20 21 comes back when he's 41 that's why you find out that a man loves god and is working passionately and then before you know it when he's age 55 he will go back into a gay lifestyle or do something and you are wondering at 55 the american nation ignored this satan proposed a doctrine to the west that exited the issue he, he just created a safe zone for himself in our teachings notice that satan didn't remove everything he just found the hardest part of it and created a theology that keeps him safe and look at the result today listen hold on guys let me tell you this listen to me I have been a victim of these things that I'm telling you. If you don't conquer this thing, you will never last. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That's the reason why it looks like no matter, no matter how you do well, oh, um, there's no cause in my life. I am free. I don't have any, no devil. Don't talk about any cause to me. The spirit will just keep quiet and be watching you. And all of a sudden, the same way it took your father and rubbished his life, took your mother and rubbished her life, you will suddenly find out that you got married. You find out that you got married. Watch this. And all of a sudden, you will become a replica of your father. A replica. Remember, it started with your father slapping your mother. He said sorry once. Then he did it again the third time he said i won't say sorry again i will give you a dirty slap i paid your dowry now because you thought you were a pastor it will leave you just like that and then you keep managing it for a while and then after nine years the demons will make sure it bites you where it is hard and you turn and give her a slap and find yourself and two of you will sit down and counsel yourself say it will never happen and before you know it you would have done it many times I'm not telling you this to show you how powerful Satan is. 
i'm only giving you a sense of appreciation because deliverance is possible and complete deliverance is possible if complete deliverance does not happen to you you will never possess your possession believe me believe me this is the bible obadiah 117 please give it to us the sons of jacob will possess it is their possession but there is a mystery are you seeing why many of our parents just said don't worry i will get the job for 25 years they didn't get any other job 25 years no other job no lifting what of the families where women are the ones who feed the men if you are a man and you ever try to rise up those horns will squash you down when mommy called me sorry to just make reference to her i saw her text the fact that i don't reply your text doesn't mean i don't look at it when i saw her text i knew immediately what was wrong i knew that they were controlling powers that have followed the life of this dear young man i prayed for him here before he left and i knew that if god does not help this man you will be surprised that one day are you seeing why people go abroad for 10 years and return back like thieves you don't hear from them from a long time you think they've built houses they are coming to give you money they return back in shame they start moving from country to country through deserts to arrive in lagos when the young man sent me a text i looked at it somebody gave you a job and people don't just change their mind when things just change suddenly just know that a spirit just came in the same way if it can change for the positive i hate you but i just change you know that ah this is the holy spirit the holy ghost has stepped in the man and i called him how are you my friend he said fine i said let's pray i said when i pray for you you are going to get the job father in the name of jesus it's not what i'm saying jesus said go it is what you are standing on it is not just the articulateness of your words it is the office and the revelation that backs you so you can say one word go and the demons don't hear go the demons see all the mysteries that support what you are saying this is what produces result many people think it is in the articulateness of the english I now standing by my left adjure you that you move now that is grammar my brother demons don't hear grammar the revelation when Jesus said go go is not enough to take demons away it was the rock that he was standing on two houses were built it is the rock you are standing on he said this is how I will build my church you will not just speak it is what you are speaking on that supports your results when I prayed for that gentleman, I just dropped the phone. I knew what would happen. Because all I did, you would think it is me that produced the result. I know what to tell the Holy Spirit. I know the factor that must be introduced in that equation. I knew that except the angel of the Lord comes to rescue. And because they are always ascending and descending, they confirm the words of his messengers all i did was to create space for the holy spirit let there be space for you in this equation and all of a sudden he steps in and i don't know how many hours i don't think it was up to three hours you see mommy dancing here she's not just dancing for nothing that's why you hear somebody say i just came for koinonia and things the things didn't just change God will examine your equations and see how you threw him out and just say okay let me be introduced here and all of a sudden things change things change I will stop here so that we'll pray after miracle service I will teach you now on casting out devils and I'll teach you deliverance through transformation and the discipline of conformity all of this will come in let's do part four let's not rush this thing i want us to take some time hold on before you stand up to take some time to pray it is not a secret that these demons are around they use all kinds of ways to enter your life and the flesh is their greatest access you are alone in the room and you are hearing sounds bam ceiling window looks like it's opening they are looking for an access point how can i make this person fear 
and doubt the faithfulness of God so that I can find expression in his life. You are just hearing like wind is blowing. All of a sudden you imagine somebody has to be near me. And then anger. Have you noticed that every time good things are coming, a good relationship, a brother just comes. Just at the point he's about to propose, that week, something dangerous happens. You are at your angriest point. And the brother says, no, I can't marry you. Then you return back. These are the spirits playing on the minds of the saints. Messing up our breakthroughs. The day you are supposed to go for a job interview, you are running, then your car breaks down. Your car didn't have any business breaking down, but it broke down. As soon as you arrive there, they say, sorry, the gate is closed. So you stand there and say, life, not life, spirits. Spirits, my brother, spirits. They are about to pay your father his gratuity. The demons will hook the money until the day they diagnose him of having cancer that will spend 150,000 for chemotherapy and the rest then the money suddenly comes and because you have to use it to spend it and spend it and spend it and spend it how about students that enter the exam hall they thought they went alone you conduct tutorials for others and enter the exam hall as soon as you sit down you look at the paper but i solved this question yesterday night what happened these demons hijack your understanding when you are out of the exams you go back and see the paper in your house that you solved it with sometimes you're on your way to the exam to write your final year exam and you forget one question paper in your pocket you didn't forget you were assisted to leave it there all of a sudden an invigilator comes and says what is that stand up and said no that's it you are going listen to what i'm telling you because god delivered me myself it will be impossible to be doing ministry at this level just talking and saying this i am a product of the deliverance that happens upon mount zion there are people there is no good thing you give them that blesses them give them money it will be the reason for their trouble help them give them favor they will cause trouble our loved ones may be like that for many years the church has been deceived and misled into thinking everything is just normal into thinking oh everything is fine i am okay just because we have some little money we allow the devil fool us into believing that we are all right the devil can allow you to continue being a preacher keep winning uh, the the loss keep healing the sick while he hijacks your mind and continues to do what he is doing at age 12 you see your son already reproducing you and you are saying my god what is this brothers and sisters i tell you the truth by the authority of the word of god i know that i'll be criticized by many people for these teachings but let me tell you this I was called into the office of an apostle listen i share with you a mystery that will help you to possess your inheritance i will not lie to you and sit you down and allow the devil tear your life into pieces let this deliverance be perfected in you you will you will be shocked at the things that will happen you're already hearing testimonies job will become child's play everything will become child's play barrenness stories there are many of us who would have been in ministry by now the call of God is upon you you know the call of God is upon you but these spirits won't let you rest they are all around you they will make sure that every helper God brings to your life you do something to them that drives them against you that's why some of us don't have friends it's not like you are bad the moment a friend comes to your life wonderful person oh I, I i love you i want to help you the spirits will make something happen you will betray the person you will lie against the person you will do something stupid that will kill your opportunity and all of a sudden they will leave you but tonight brothers and sisters the devil is a liar i don't know if there's someone here who is tired who is saying enough is enough 
I can't let this happen. If you are free, your loved ones are not free. So in any case, there is something for you to do. yet taught you next the next time we meet when we now start talking of deliverance we are going to look at the deliverance ministry of Jesus just Jesus leave Paul leave this just Jesus and we are going to see what Jesus did with this spirit and you will see that Jesus said this kind go it not there is a kind you don't just generically tell demons go no there are different spirits the way you drive a fallen angel from influencing a life is not the same way you cast out a demon now the fallen angels may be illegal occupants but the demons are legal occupants they came by birth the women gave their wombs freely so they are not just run no they have a right This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. Listen, I shared with you during the prayer and fasting, remember, that there is a physical atmospheric temperature that drives demons by itself. Not, um, there, is a, there is a physical, there are places on earth that demons cannot stay. There's no preacher there. The environment itself drives them. It's in your, it's in your, it's in your Bible. That when a demon leaves a man, it goes through where? Dry regions, dry regions, hoping it will find something dry that it and, and not finding any, it's uncomfortable and it comes back. Who casted it from that place? Nobody preached with it. It left that place and preferred to come and fight you than to remain in the wilderness. Listen, witchcraft was a proposition that these spirits brought to men. Men are not so smart to know that you, you should kill somebody. There are wicked people from where we come from that will exchange the life even of their children for themselves. Have you seen old people who don't die? Every time they are sick, you hear that someone is dead and then they, they are alive. All of a sudden, they become fine. No, sir. Read in the Bible, a king who slew his son to keep his own life. Ah, ah, nobody will bring a knife to my neck to keep it. Ah, we are going to pray. It's just going to be praying in tongues now. I want you to find a corner, my brother, my sister. Take your life serious. In the next five minutes, instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Zion. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. In that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And the yoke from off your neck. And it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the Living God cannot be in vain. Shaka to katapa la kapa. MP 
the spirits that cause failure. Shaka toka pech, shaka toka pech, ete preke teke teke to shake it. Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assisted men. So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. He says, I am the God of Bethel. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit. You are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Shaka Katapa, angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood, I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. still pray I tell you I feel fire in this place listen everything God has shown you either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you're going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I like you to lift your voice and cry Jacob's catabata. 
every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. prayer we are going to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we are going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling Shabbatakata. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. Shamakatos Kadabash. You are married also pray for your family pray for your children i cast every devil In the name of Jesus, there's no place for you in my mind. There's no place for you in my life. I come against ordinances.
is healing fibroid. I'm seeing the Lord healing now. The Lord is healing fibroid. The Lord is healing fibroid in the name of Jesus. I command that devil. The Lord is healing fibroid. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leaving people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can see anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation, right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Shasakatos kaparakata. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. The spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One. Two. Three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cost that spirit now. There is anyone you know whether you are here or anyone you know that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names. We release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams. 
is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now in the name of Jesus. Shakatos. Implantas kanasone hashamariakata. Shakras kote bakatosa barekata. Eko shamama shanadakata. Rekete kete kete. Eshkamara katos kaba. Zatia shatia. Zatia shekene kosha. Brakatos karikata. In the name that is above all names. I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now just two more points and we're done look at me if you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family then I want you to listen carefully it's always that the future is worse than the past you never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher you look at all your loved ones they once worked they once married they once had children they once had a house you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life please help them once upon a time i was rich once upon a time i was married once upon a time i was on fire for god once upon a time i was a pastor i had a church no the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day when your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday there is a spirit reversing the equation lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please just be patient with me we'll end now my spirit is heavy circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. In the name of Jesus, everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. 
The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I command that death to pass over your family I command that death to pass over your family Hallelujah Just, just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying physically you are a lady but every time you see yourself in a dream it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay it's it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that I have to pray for you for a very demonic thing I'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are I don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now. I just felt a need to clear this air. Because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits. And you have problems that are killing you. But rather than opening your heart, you are there just wondering. Is God really the one doing this? Can somebody just fall down like that without being touched? Is it really true? is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in Psalm 3, Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. He says, You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. I always tell people, Gamaliel spoke beautifully. He said, If it is of God, no man can stop it. If it is not of God, it will fail. There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like I see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death 
your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Zata bakata da da bakata brada da 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 bosh. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. Kaba rada balada bosh. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship you Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Come on, call his name. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible? With God. Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this road let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bringer. 
devil will stop her. Your name is God. Your name is God. In my well. Your name is God. In my way. In my way. In my way. In my way. presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my praise hallelujah please lift your hands i see the angels of the lord moving now lift your hands we're about to cause devils and wicked spirits please follow me instrumentalist we are going to cause every power the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that tree must give way and I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve that at the count of three any power that is not of God inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost as you shout three the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now one two three shout Jesus shake up a back approach secretary I cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness I cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft secretary by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness I see a number of angels you're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you Jesus are you ready now those outside I see the power of God like files of fire one two at the count of three shout Jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find. It's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her. She will come. Now, quickly. I call you, Lord. Don't touch her, she will come by herself. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now thank you Jesus I bring you liberty be free now in Jesus name she's free The name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now I speak to you wicked spirit let her go now Jesus died listen let me tell you there is no power listen there is no power that will resist the power of God tonight the Bible says let every soul be subject to the higher powers have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel please just save time when I mention your case Gabriel Gabriel is outside outside 
the Lord is ministering to me outside Gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside you are Gabriel you are outside hallelujah come my dear what is wrong with you I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically look come come up look at this girl look at her you will know that this girl doesn't look healthy you don't even know what and the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood this is how somebody just gets up and just dies What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, okay. come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now praise the lord i'm going to pray for you who is having serious abdominal pain you're having pain just your stomach region here very seriously one of you here because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? You'll be healed now. Thank you, Jesus. I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all of these people. As I lay hands on you, it doesn't matter what the situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk into the blessings and the promises of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free. In the name of the Lord Jesus um the lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for God to set you free. Don't worry. If there are still more people, you can connect. I'm just telling you the one that God is showing me. I don't care what it is. We sang that God will set you free. Please don't come out here to try God. It will leave. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please, those with peptic ulcers, just get ready. All kinds of ulcers. We're going to pray for you now. Please make sure it's, it's only skin infection. Only skin infection. Hold my hands, madam. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Be free now. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. As I pray for you, just go back to your seat. Oh, the power of God is strong on my hands. Be free now in the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you, I pray that God will visit you 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. Visit your people, oh God. These are the ones that you died for. Look how many people are inflicted by ulcers. I'll pray for you very quickly. Please, I want you to believe as I lay my hands on, on you. The power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out! Come out of her! Now! In the name of Jesus. Out! Out of her! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. He's able. Bring the lady shout in there. Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God. he's able. God is able. God. And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in Jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother 
someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you who went to shika and came back shika and came back because this person i'm seeing they took the person to shika and brought the person back you my mother has one being shika she went to shika what are you coming out for why is the man insisting that is the one what is it you came from shika you are coming from shika what's wrong with you this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's this situation but it's a, no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and um, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What, what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I'll pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabia, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at This is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg, I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. You're a footballer? I had a fracture for eight months now. You have a fracture now on the leg. There is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Aya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture. Fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for an See. There's no. There's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the. No, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Just that point. 
the joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that, you woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at it. The power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any? No pain is. She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole, you used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people. But you will be very surprised. When, when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord, once God shows me something, he has done it. Please check yourself. Check yourself. We are not faking this thing here. Make sure you check yourself. You will be very surprised. To find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I call. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus, we give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i curse you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions 
heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who and is preparing to go to india what is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Ogasa, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's a, you don't use stethoscope you can hear it so it's a serious situation she will be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of jesus how do you know now try it breathe in and out let's see thank you jesus christ let there be perfection in the name of jesus let there be perfection the devil wants to bring stroke as i just held you huh is that true you're already feeling half of you some okay your dad too of stroke because immediately i had i held your hand i just saw stroke father we rebuke that stroke in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy ghost be healed right now we are going to rebuke delay in marriage now rise up on your feet the devil is a liar please rise up on your feet some of you are smiling that means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue praise God hallelujah now I'm going to pray for you please follow me guys hallelujah. most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody you'll be amazed at what will happen right now everyone please lift your hands you can stand for yourself you can connect hallelujah at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus father i pray that as they shout that name every every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cast those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the holy ghost inside and outside i command those powers to let you go now release their marital destinies now release their marital destinies now every cause that stops marriage in families 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, shake we are still going to shout that name over this case. The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One. One. Two. Get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I command chains. Chains. Marital chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus be broken let marital doors open in the name of Jesus I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the Bible says seek out of the book and read it said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus and i prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that god has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now i'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Straight in the name of Jesus Christ. Never 
my God in the name of Jesus. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Okay, blah, 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 blah. He healed mommy he prayed, in the name of Jesus. He
the name of Jesus I Christ. Am that I am. I am that I am. Now. That's it. Job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west in the name that is above all names. I pray May the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God 
give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus as you are lifting up that hands let an anointing come upon that hand keep it lifted please that hand that is lifted I pray let an anointing come upon it the oil of gladness that sets you above your equals receive it in the name of Jesus everywhere you have submitted your CV I pray may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it, and once we are done here, but this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say, Lord, whatever I wrote here is turned into a testimony. Rapaka prosso sopra te cate si debo sopra un dosco prende che te se cate te te bala da 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 sopra tocco tocco prega de bala da da boss Lord in the name of Jesus 
by the power of the Holy Spirit change this situation change this situation in the name of Jesus we turn this to testimony Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. Sit up. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Launching from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Shababalaka Tambra de la Kariaraba. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels you of power. In the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. Your faith. Take an anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Your Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the kingdom. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus. I open every 
Jesus God. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Everybody stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains. Be open now. Visions. Dreams. I command. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. An unction. You don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out. We activate it. Take it now. Supernatural experiences, dreams, visions. So potopate. I command leadership mantles. Leadership mantles. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. 
strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit I activate it inside and outside take it let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hand hold your hand take it now take it now I activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, maka prateke, empretos kepa, matos kopo rekete. Sete tete baka balada. Now I want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 i pray right now every opportunity you have lost i don't care what it is i prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration 
by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my god has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here i pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus hallelujah lord we give you the praise i'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the lord jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made jesus lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a christian but you've never truly declared the lordship of christ i'm going to invite you to come here 
or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and god gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming god bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you jesus hallelujah i salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem i want you to say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood to set me free i receive that freedom tonight and i receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of jesus from today i declare that i'm born again i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me i make up my mind to live for jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace it will always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf koinonia celebrate them very quickly hello 
beloved in Christ, we hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 